Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna make mushroom risotto. For ingredients, let's check down below. So obviously you will need rice. The rice that I'm using is carnaroli rice because there's a lot of starch in it. If you can find this, you can use arborio rice. To cook the rice, usually always check your package. This one specifically, it's 16 to 18 minutes. Now, the mushroom. You can use whatever mushroom you have. The one that I use, it's called cremini, and it's about 300 grams of mushroom. I'm using about three medium shallots. If you don't have shallots, you can use regular white onion or yellow onion. About 125 to 150 mils of white wine, 50 gram of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, 50 gram of unsalted butter, parsley, and about a liter of chicken stock. So now, if you want to make this all vegetarian, you can change the chicken stock with vegetable stock. We got all the ingredients ready. So now, let's start cooking. Now I have two pans ready. The big stainless steel pan with a thick bottom. I'm gonna use it for cook risotto and then this one is non-stick pan and I'm gonna use it for the mushrooms. So on each, I'm gonna put about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I want to put put on medium low heat. Now for this one, I'm going to put my mushroom. And then for my rice, I'm going to put my shallots. So the key to cook risotto, you have to cook it nice and slowly. Be patient. One more tips guys. If you want to cut your slots or onion, just make sure it's always the same size of your rice or even smaller. When your mushroom already released the water, just add a little bit of salt for seasoning. About half of teaspoon. And we're still gonna cook the mushroom until all the water is evaporated. Now, my onions, it's ready. It's already translucent. So now I'm gonna add the rice. We're gonna toast the rice for about a minute or two. Since you're using a stainless steel pan, just make sure you always keep stir your rice so it doesn't stuck in the bottom of your pan or it doesn't burn. Because if it's burned, it gives you that bitterness taste. Okay, I already toast for about a minute. So now, white wine. As soon as the rice touches the liquid, that's when your cooking on your rice is already starting. Stir. I'm gonna put my timer to 16 minutes. Keep stirring. Now when you see all the rice already absorbed all the liquid and I can smell the evaporated wine. So now grab a little of your stock and then add it a little by little. Keep stirring. Want it dry, add it more. So I see my mushroom, the water, all of them almost all evaporates and it's changing the color. So now I'm gonna add parsley. We're gonna cook the mushroom for another two to three minutes.
So for the mushroom, after two, three minutes, the water, it's all evaporate. As you can see, now it's, it's all oil. Now we can turn off the heat and we're gonna put it on the side for now. So 16 minutes already done. I'm gonna test my rice. You have to test your rice. I'm gonna cook one more minute because it's not done because you see in the package it's between 16 to 18 minutes. So I'm gonna add for about one to two minutes. But at the same time, I'm gonna add my mushroom. I'm gonna keep a little bit for the karish. And then keep stirring. Add a little bit more stock. So after I add about two minutes, so exactly 18 minutes, I'm gonna turn off my heat. Add butter. Stir. Now after the butter is melted, now we can add our cheese. You see it's nice and creamy. And now we're gonna plate this. There you go guys, your mushroom risotto is done. So now I'm gonna garnish it with the mushroom that we have. And then we're gonna add a little bit of parsley. And that's your vinyl results of mushroom risotto. It's really easy to make. It is time consuming. Yes, you have to be patient with it. So, but the vinyl results is really, really worth it. So give it a try. So that's it for our today's video, guys. If you guys like this video, please give us a like, comment, share, and please don't forget to subscribe because subscribe, it costs you nothing, but it really helps us. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next video.